Okay, let's start our second tomato. We have a new API. Mm -hmm. It's time now to start. Migration. Migrating. Yes. Okay, set up a timer. Okay, let's do it. So what we're going to have to do, not to break the clients, is to deprecate every function as well that uses the old type. Yes, exactly. And not just functions, but any type, anything that references the old protocol. Yes, everything. And I like to start from the leaf nodes. Exactly. So in this case, the start game uses the game, mm -hmm. but no one uses the start game from this module. It's the entry point for the module. That's how you create a game. Mm -hmm. And it instantiates all the internal types and returns to you the game reference. Yes. And again, if we come here and just change it to be the quiz delegate, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Boom, a bunch of errors, and then we'll have to change it everywhere. So that's not the way to go. Right. Because these APIs are public. Everything that is public, it might be used by a client. Yes. So we need to create new APIs. Right. So let's deprecate this as we did with the previous one. Mm -hmm. Let's compile and look at that. By deprecating the things, we're going to find the path to get yes. to the next step we have to do. As you can see, there is some tests using the start game. Perfect. So by deprecating things one thing at a time, we're going to achieve what we want in tiny steps. So let's commit this. We deprecated the start game method. Great. Let's also add to our to-do list an item for providing a message for this deprecated start game function. Let's say start game function. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about this test? Let's have a look. Right. So this is the end-to-end -end test, right? It's the yes. integrated test. And we want to maintain this test. Absolutely. This is vital for the framework. It tests the behavior without the components. Because you can say, well, if we have a new API, why do we need to test the old one? Right. Well, well <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the reason, first of all, we need to test the old one as well is because our clients are using the old one. So we don't want to break the checking of the behavior they use. Exactly. As long as this code exists, it needs to be tested. Absolutely. Okay, so we need this. Okay, so since we made start game deprecated, what if we deprecated the game test test case as well? And then we can add a new test case that uses the new things, basically. So let's rename this file then, and let's call it deprecated game test. Yes, I like that. This is also deprecated. Run the test. Does it still run? It does. It does, okay. I don't think we need to add this to the checklist because as soon as we delete the old APIs, we cannot even build these anymore. Right, yes. So the compiler is going to help us mm -hmm. and remind us that we need to delete this. But I also want to rename this to deprecated game test. Perfect. Okay, let's run again and let's make sure that it is running this test. It is, fantastic. Deprecated the integrated test for the old APIs, correct? Yes. So I think now it's time for us to have a look at this router spy. Mm -hmm. Where is it used? Well, there are two tests using it. It's also using the flow test. Right. We don't want to break the flow yet. No. I don't think no. it's time. For sure not. So why sure. instead of reusing it, why don't we duplicate it? And it might sound silly right now, but... Yes, exactly. We want to, instead of removing old naming and behavior, we want to replicate, basically add it again and make sure any other places in the code base that reference the old name and behavior are going to start referencing the new one. And when no one is referencing the old types, then we can remove them safely as long as all our tests are passing. Right. So... Let's not delete it, but let's contain it mm -hmm. in its own file. So we can just move it here okay. inside the class scope. And we can even make it private so no one's going to use it. Right. Yes. And I like that because basically we are accumulating all the deprecated stuff in one test file here. Exactly. But look at this now. Since we're reusing the router's pi, there were some APIs that we're not even using here. For example, the rooted questions, it's not used in this test. Mm. Can even remove it. Yes. Let's leave the minimal necessary for this test to pass. 
And also, since this is a private class now, right. every time you use it, it needs to be private. And to be fair, I think we forgot to provide the... It should have been private before. Yes. <laughs> cool. It is passing and it's now self-contained. It's one step further. Okay, let's commit this. Replicated the router spy helper in a private scope within the deprecated tests. Mm -hmm. So we don't forget to remove it when it's time. Right. Fantastic. Now let's have a look again at the router spy. And I would like to get rid of this file now and also move mm -hmm. this to a private scope in the flow test. Yes. Let's move this class here and let's make it private. Very nice. And look at that. It was private in this case already. As I said, I think it was an oversight <laughs> on our behalf. I think so. Okay, it still says it's deprecated, but that's fine. Yes. We can now delete this file and everything is self-contained. And I think it's a good time to commit here. Okay, so move routers pi to private place. scope since it's not shared anymore. Yes. And many folks, by the way, my question, why do we commit so often? This is an extremely delicate process and we want to make sure we can revert to the last point that our tests were passing and uh, we didn't have any build errors. So although it might seem maybe even not needed sometimes, we feel much more safe by committing that often. I think it's extremely needed because we might do some steps here that we don't like. We can revert it. Exactly. We can go back in time. We can log our ideas along the way. Yes. It gives us the flexibility of spiking and then spiking on top of that spike if necessary so we can explore our options. And maybe at the end, we're not going to like the result and we can create a new branch from master and cherry pick whatever we like. Absolutely. <laughs> it's part of the process. Trust the yes. process. Yes, exactly. So let's have a look at the warnings we have so far. Well, we still have the one in production here mm -hmm. for the yeah. game. I think we should deprecate this first, fix all the warnings before working on the flow to use the new protocol. Makes sense? I agree. Available, deprecated. And let's add it in our to-do list to provide a nice message. Game class. Yes. Deprecated the game class. Now this is starting to look like a mess. You have these deprecated types all over the place. Should we right. put all of them in one file? Yeah. Like a deprecated file. Or should we just rename this file? I don't know. Maybe it's too much ahead. Why don't we just make a list? Yeah. yeah. So move deprecated components to a... Designated deprecated file. Designated file okay now let's move on that's the good thing about the checklist yes we free our minds of that concern and we're never gonna forget about it and in the future we might look at the list and say actually that was not a good idea delete it as long as it works <laughs> okay i just noticed by the way the that in this file we also have the scoring function well it's private well yeah <laughs> and again scoring is a leaky detail right so let's add it to the list. What should we do with the scoring function? It's a leaky detail. Sounds like all those types should be for a specific game, like a scored game implementation. Yes, exactly. So let's go to the flow. It's the last place in production and in the test that is using the router. And what we want is for the flow to use the quiz delegate. Right and mayhem but this is gonna break everything <laughs> so let's not do that straight away let's find nice. a way to do it incrementally okay oops okay looks like we progressed a lot here yes now we narrow down changes to one point yes probably in the next amount where we can get it done yeah i think we can do that well at least the flow <laughs> maybe not the whole thing but yeah Let's let's be realistic here. Okay, nice one. See you all next time. Mm -hmm.